on to stage four. The fourth great trial is a narrow path to the final battle. The floors will crumble quickly. Use all your cunning to sprint your way to the top. Fine. We'll just keep climbing then. Wait for me, Catherine. Commencing area four. Are you ready? I love the background here. The Imperial has a ton of great looking backgrounds, I think. This stage is all about being fast and avoiding enemies. We're going to be pursued by quite a few sheep as we head up here. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, that was a shame. I went to try to shimmy around to the left, but the sheep was in my way and it was a bit too quick with the drop down button. Anyway, yeah, loads of sheep here. Loads of bombs and spikes as well. Not sure why I set that off. Unfortunately, Red Sheep have no qualms whatsoever about setting off bombs, unlike other types of sheep. Oh! That never show up. I'll see you up ahead. Oh, oh dear. Come on. See you up ahead. Right, let's go on with this. There's no need to sell off that bomb, so I'm not sure why. Well, it's not hurting anything. As usual, you do want to avoid setting off the bombs where possible. Though this level makes it difficult. Another bomb that can't be dodged. Oh dear. That's why you want to avoid setting off the bombs. All right. Trying to puzzle out how best to approach this section. Avoid that big bomb to the right and head up the left here. Shimmy round and run up the spikes. I think the hard part of the level might be behind us. It would be nice if there was a way to lure the sheep onto those spikes. I was trying to think of a way to do that. Unfortunately, a bit tricky. Bear to just drop him. Another bomb to be endured. Right, I got it. Checkpoint. Don't really want to go up the left hand side there, even though it's the shortest way up. Very good idea to avoid that bomb. Right, I got it. 
Look out for the black holes. All right, all right, I got it. This. this book is going to prove to be very right about now. Alright, I got it. There's quite a few extra lives on this level. Very useful considering what's coming up. This little block of mystery blocks isn't too bad unless you get some really awful luck. I think I managed to avoid any just terrible disasters. The nice thing about when a monster block shows up in a mystery block is it Im immediately dies because you're standing on its head. It makes you wonder why they bother putting them in mystery blocks uh, anyway. And this, I believe, is the end of the stage. An awful lot of extra lives around here. It would be a good place to farm them if there wasn't quite a difficult level first. I got it. I made it! Still. Here I go! That's very thoughtful. I think you're still alive. It's thrilling. To think you have this much will to survive. Very well. Just as I said, I, Thomas Mutton, shall be your opponent. Next time we meet, your life will be over in no time. <laughs> I wish I could have seen his face, but there's no time for that. Tall is this damn thing? I've been climbing forever. Really? You're almost there. Now sit down. Oh, man. <laughs> it's entertaining to witness someone becoming a legend. It doesn't happen often. First, I must praise you for having survived thus far. This bullshit again. What do I have to tell you this time? What makes you so desperate? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna get back what I lost. Hmm. Now let me ask, what are you living for? What? What's the point of asking questions at this point in your game? Life isn't so simple that I can just boil it down that easily. Just, who are you? What do you mean? Uh-huh, that's the curse. There's no escaping this place without having an answer of some sort. You may be different from the average man, but that doesn't mean I can let you go. I'll hear what you truly wish for. Last question to freedom. Are you prepared to live the rest of your life in the peace that you wished for? <laughs> I assume you guys were serious when 90% of you wished for peace. <laughs> That's your answer. Alright, I understand. Everything is prepared now. I can finally guide you to the stage where you'll fight him. There was once a man who took up this challenge, just like you. This man became a legend. He stopped being human, then became one of us. <laughs> yes, he is Thomas Mutton, the one awaiting you at the next trial. Now that he has become one of us, we call him Dumuzi. All the traps were created by him. He knows this place through and through, making him a difficult opponent. So he used to be a human. Well, I'm not gonna lose to him.
you will now be faced with the creator of the Great Trials. Use all the techniques you've learned to avoid his fierce attacks. The time has come. And you remember our deal, right? As I said, you have nothing to be concerned. After all, tonight you'll be dining on my mutton special. It's a pity. But try not to get too worked up over it. Shut up! Let's get this over with already. I'll outrun you, too. Catherine, wait for me. Mutton has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. The fight with boss starts off pretty simply. Nothing too complex in this opening section, but it is only the opening section. Right, I got it. Right, I got it. Now things start getting nuts. You might have noticed that some blocks suddenly turned into bombs. The blocks that change are set. However, the blocks that they are turned into randomly generate. Though the seat does seem to stay the same, so as you die and retry the game, it'll tend to give you the same blocks over and over. You saw his kick a second ago. He can do that from anywhere. He'll also go through phases of shooting you with a gun like this. It can be really problematic if that happens. Your best bet is going to be to try to lead the site to either a block that you don't want, that you can afford to let him destroy, or to a gap where he won't just won't hit anything. Naturally, if he shoots you, you're dead. Crack blocks. He can use his kick at any point. He doesn't pursue you in a way similar to the other bosses. It is obnoxiously easy to get the level all fragmented like this. Calm down. Really quite problematic. Seem to be making some progress so. Here's the checkpoint, just in time for some bombs to appear. All these bombs are going to become a major problem. It's fairly easy to avoid his kick. He'll always target the last place you were, so as long as you move just one square, you'll be fine. Oh dear. Ah, we were doing so well for a while. Now's not the time to be
I think that's the fastest I've ever died. Too many bombs. Rest in peace. Now's not the time to be dead. Come, come. You need to run. Really not helpful, boss. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. Change the bombs into bombs. Real useful. Die, will you? You don't have time. This is just a mess. That's marginally better than bombs. So, the bomb of the stage is extremely close. Oh, shit, what am I gonna do? That didn't work. Get that another shot? <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm trying to do here. Whatever it is, it hasn't worked. <laughs> the big Duke Nukem foot. At this point, I decided to give up on that particular run and restart from the start with the hope of. Having a bit more of a bit of a more stable uh, level once I got to the checkpoint. Since I don't actually need to hit the checkpoint again, I skipped it this time. Starting to get used to trying to lead his gun. No, didn't quite work out that time. Looks like we're getting a bit higher this time. Starting to look a bit more like an actual level now instead of a random collection of blocks. Had some shooting through a gap there. Oh, asshole. Ice, that's not so bad. You don't have any time. You don't have any time. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Oh, well, that still worked. His kick always stuns you, even if it didn't land anywhere near you as well. Boy, stop moving. All right, I got it. Oh, I needed that. Now, strictly speaking, this should be the final puzzle. Need to get that golden bell. So I can turn everything into normal blocks and escape. Oh, 
But for once, boss decided to actually help us out. <laughs> Thanks, man. Here I go. <laughs> this can't be. <laughs> you beat him. I love these backgrounds. Wait, there's more? Can't lose. Wait for me, Catherine. <laughs> this tower is really tall. That mutton asshole isn't gonna keep throwing these at me forever until I die, is he? Don't worry, there will be an end to this. A pinnacle. The next stage will be your last, I assure you. So come, sit down. You're finally here. Above this place is a path that reaches to the heavens. You finally appear. A man with potential. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me, huh? Were you trying to kill me this whole time? This is a sanctuary where we give those with potential a baptism and freedom. This is a game of death where experience and intuition are your only tools to survive. There is no right and wrong. Tomorrow only comes for those with the power to overcome the challenge. Yeah, I kind of already knew that. This is all a dream in my head. If this is my dream, then no matter what comes my way, I know I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you are bold. So different from the man who first entered here. My job here is done. You've successfully endured the baptism. Coming next will be the final trial of the heavens. This will be your last battle. I am always near you. I have many faces and many names. When this sanctuary is bathed in Ishtar's love, I'll see you again in a place far removed from here. Somewhere else? Keep your eyes up and go. Hey, not to tell me twice. You sure love to talk right up to the end. So I guess there's one more stage to go. That boss boss was only a mid boss boss. There's still a final boss boss to come. See you in the next video.